couple quick thoughts and we'll have a couple questions after that. Yeah. Uh, great place, great venue, uh, really good tournament. Uh, we've enjoyed our experience here. It's been a great season for Texas Southern University. As I look back on it, we've accomplished and set so many goals. And I don't want this to be about myself. Um, I probably have one of the easiest jobs of the other 291 or so other Division I coaches because all I do is basically show up and watch the program run. Uh, I have three excellent assistant coaches. All of them played under me. and. They decided to come back to Texas Southern and make a difference. I want to start there. And then the rest of it, I got to give credit to my student athletes. They really done one heck of a job for us this year uh, on the field and off the field. Questions? Robert, what was their pitcher doing so well today against you guys? Um, I think uh, he was missing. Uh, he was mixing it up. Uh, he was working well. On, uh, um, he was working the sidearm, um, top of the sidearm here. Um, and, and he was painting that corner well outside. Um, then you come over the top, and uh, uh, he, um, he was really jamming us inside. And so I think uh, for us to be successful, um, uh, we, um, we had to make that adjustment. And uh, that's what we didn't do until later in the innings. And then we started picking it up. By then, it was a little too late. Robert, was that ninth inning kind of symbolic of the season, the way you all, you all hung in there and, and, and fought to the end? Well, um, yes, I can agree with that. Um, uh, all year, we fought. Um, I told my teammates um, since we first got here August 23rd um, that the hardest team to beat um, is one that stays together. Um, and it showed up ninth inning. Um, uh, um, um, we came together as a team again. Uh, we started getting some hits there, uh, and then we started rallying. But I wish we'd done it earlier because, I mean, uh, he, he was all last thing um, 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 what we're capable of. Coach, were you surprised by deck work, uh, considering the fact that this was just a second career start? Um, no, just just you know, reading the report, you know, any guy that can land a slider is going to be tough against right-handed hitters. You know, we have a right-handed hitting lineup, so that's the one thing I saw in there. You know, he gave us multiple looks with his slot. You know, any guy that's going to show you looks from the top to the bottom, they're going to be extremely tough. You know, and then his move, his move of first was, you know, I thought, you know, it was pretty good. What happened on that squeeze play in the in the first? That was pretty pivotal. How big did that seem at the time? Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's who we are. You know, we, we're a team that, you know, we got to take risks. We got to take chances. And, you know, most of the season long, we, you know, we executed. But today we did. And what it was, it was fake squeeze steal. That's what we had. And I almost want to tell you a fake squeeze double steal because that's what Lazo's responsibility was on that particular play. But normally we'll just run a fake squeeze steal and try to get guys at second and third and line up for the middle of the order, drive in two runs. So he was trying to steal home there? If we had a throw. If we had a throw come across, he would have. At, at that point in the game, if you score there as a big start, not scoring, how much did that impact just the, the swing of the game at that point? Yeah, a lot. Because, you know, coming in, you know, you're in a high stake tournament with three other ball clubs and you know, they had to do something well to get here, so every ball club is capable of pitching. Uh, I thought that slowed us a little bit, and then we tried a double steal, and we didn't execute that. And even at, at that particular moment, you know, we'll take a situation if we fail. We still got a guy second and third, and so we didn't execute that as well. So it kind of hindered us in the early end. Larry, would you mind summing up was what was a really successful season for y'all? Um, yes, I mean, we, we have a lot of seniors on this team. And so having them was a was a big thing for us. Um, RJ is one of our leaders, and him just telling us together since the beginning of the season that we're family, you know. And we start off the season with a big Thanksgiving dinner, came together as a team, and uh, I think that really just helped us out a lot because we did do a lot of things together as a team and it worked well for us. Coach, can you talk about Larry, what he did to keep you in the game, you know, throughout, you know, with your relief appearance. That dude, really, you know, he came in, I thought he pitched well, even last night, you know, in the A&M game, his balls were really moving all over the place, and, you know, he was able to change his speeds, you know, he pulled off his fastball, he landed his breaker, uh, he was excellent, uh, he did a really good job, because they have a really good hitting team, you know, and it's always tough when you got to face a left-handed hit lineup. Coach, I'm not aware of how much of the game you saw in Coastal yesterday afternoon, but 
That said, did you see a different approach from them at the plate than maybe what you saw yesterday against Cal? No, no. Yesterday, all they left is pull. They really try to pull hard. You know, the kid that started yesterday, he, he threw one pitch at him. But he's a special guy. He was 90-94. I thought their swings were pretty much the same, you know. We saw some long foul balls from those left-handed bats, you know. So, obviously, that's what Gary's teaching now. Now, he's going out recruiting guys that can pull the baseball. Left-handed hitters. Coach, did you find that the dirt was a little more firm after your request early in the game? Uh, it, it, it was better. It, it definitely, you know, it was better. But, you know, I don't want to make that, you know, a, a big deal. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, Texas A&M is a great place, and it's a great place to have the tournament. Um, you know, we just want to make sure we be competitive, and we knew going in that we had to pitch, play defense, and execute our offense. That's what we've been doing all year long. We won 31 ball games. Time for one or two more.